active and mobilisation technique into the forearm extensor compartment. We can work over towards the lateral epicondyle and then just working through the main bulk of the extensor compartment. And then we will lift the patient's arm up slightly and we can work through flexion and extension at the wrist. On that and radial deviation, and then we can ask them to actively do that through all ranges, flexion extension, and then ulnar and radial deviation. And as with any other technique, we can also incorporate bicep, brachialis, up into the deltoid, or even up into the cervical spine, just working through that whole arm and shoulder girdle from one end of the chin to the other.